Tonight is January the 2nd of 2015. I wanted to show you something I got busy with tonight and finished up. Um, I've been using a, uh, this is the bi little bias probe thing that I recently posted right here. Nothing's changed about it, but I decided I wanted an analog meter for it. So I've got lots of these beautiful analog meters. This one happens to be a one milliamp. But of course one milliamp is not going to measure anything in the right scale, so I had to scale it. Right there would be no shunt on it, so it is a one milliamp meter movement. Here's the input right here. Oops, I don't want it to come out yet. I'll show you that in a second. And then uh, right there is the 10 milliamp and there's the 100 milliamp. Well, there's really nothing magical about this. And of course this plugs in in place of the digital meter. And there you have it. But I don't know, and, and here's the schematic. It's very simple. Those are the two red leads right here. And uh, there's that big switch. There's the meter. All it does is when it's in the first position, there's no shunt across it. And then in the second position, there's a, a shunt that'll give it 10 milliamps full scale, and the second shunt will give you 100 milliamps full scale. Well, I don't know if there's any videos out there on YouTube about this, but I don't think there are about how to make shunts for meters. At least the way I do it. I'll show you the way I do it. <clears throat> now if I can get it back apart. Um, I thought about making the, showing you how I did the shunt during the making of it, but, it, but it's just too tedious and uh, trying to make it a, a camera thing and everything it was just a little more than I could deal with I've got a very large switch here make sure I get really good contacts this is a switch like out of a to switch the coils in a radio transmitter and here's the shunt for the 10 milliamp scale there's the shunt for the 100 milliamp scale and there's the open one right there see there's the open one there's 10 there's a hundred just like right there in the schematic where it says 1, 10, and 100. Well, the way that I make the shots, I don't know if you can see it, but I think you can. This is a, These are 100K ohm resistors, and that's a 100K ohm resistor. It, basically, it's just a form. It's just a mechanical form to wrap the wire around. This one right here is shunted. I have a little box of goodies right here. Let me lay this thing down. I'll show you what I do. I have all kinds of goofy nichrome wire that I've saved from resistors and what have you. And what I ended up doing, what I do is I, I just start experimenting. I put this meter in series with a known good meter. And then I use like a potentiometer. This happens to be a 1K. And then I use some batteries. I use, uh, in this case, four AA batteries. Let me find them here. These guys right here. Sorry, I can't hook it all back up. But you just put all the stuff in series. You put the batteries in series with your meter, series with this meter, series with this potentiometer. You have to do some calculations in your head so that you know you're in the right range. And then you adjust this to whatever current you want. And then the way that I've done it, I've done this all of my uh, amateur radio career and everything else. So I just take pieces of wire like this right here, and I uh, crimp it down under the terminal. And then somewhere down the road, a few inches, say a piece that long, I crimp it real hard down underneath the other terminal so that it's got the terminal shorted and then I measure it and I see how it, how it turns out. If it turns out too low, of course, then this is too short. If it turns out too high, then this is too long. Well, what you, what you want, if you'll notice in this case, this one right here has got a whole bunch of turns on it, but they're insulated. And they actually came from this little spool right here. It's probably about Oh, I don't know, 12 inches of this wire right here. But it's got a little bit of cloth insulation on it, so I can wrap it around itself. 
and 12 inches if it's insulated is really kind of a good idea because it allows you to make the adjustments uh, and get them really precise you solder the heck out of one end so it's going to be on there permanently and then the other end you you make it just a little bit longer than it needs to be and then you start tinkering with it measuring you know comparing this to your digital meter all this stuff being a series until this reads the same as your digital meter and then you can vary it and it, you can make it dead on these meters are every bit as accurate as a digital meter you just gotta take the time to read them and then you solder it and there you go now this one over here the 100 milliamp movement is made out of I believe this wire right here about oh I don't know not more than about that much say about three inches and it's wrapped around it it's not insulated so I can't wrap it around itself so you can see there's just a few turns there I put um, fingernail polish on it just to hold it in place that's all that blue mess is there just to just to keep it from rattling around and that's it you just gotta tinker with them and like I say all it takes is a set of batteries they don't even have to be brand new or anything a potentiometer another good reading digital meter and uh, that's how you that's how you can make these shunts and you can you can make your meter here measure every bit as accurate as your digital meter if you're willing to uh, tinker with it long enough again the magic happens to be in the in the type of wire you have save re, save wire out of old uh, wire wound resistors and you need this kind of nichrome wire to, to, to try to use just regular hookup wire you, you're going to need a lot of it and you're going to have a great big uh, spool of it so you, you're going to have too much so you need something with uh, a little bit higher resistance higher DC resistance than just regular hookup wire let's hook this thing up and I'll show you how it works it's actually quite nice and uh, I think I prefer it to the digital so let's, let's hook it up as in so many of my videos I use the old uh, Dynaco Mark IV and there it is they even match and look kind of nice together I've got it in the plate position of course I do have to the polarity does matter now the meter will try to read the wrong way and then you open the switch up and there it is it's in the 100 milliamp position and it's reading about 74 milliamps and it's right on there's just sometimes it's nice to have analog and if you want to read the screen current make sure you short it move this guy over to the screen and open the screen well see it's just a tiny little reading so that's not too good is it so we go down here and flip this thing over to 10 milliamps and it's about uh, 5.7 milliamps or so which is exactly what the digital meter reads now the one thing about this meter that these not excuse me not the meter but the switch here this is a break before make switch and I have to either short this and switch it or switch it quickly because a break before make is it's like like if this is the movable contact and it moves under this contact break before make means that it comes apart before this one before it makes to the next one well if you were had like power supply voltages on these terminals you would want to break before make but in this condition you really want to make before break you'd really like for it to actually right before it unshorts this terminal you'd like for it to short the other one and that would keep the meter from uh, having its shunt uh, removed I don't know that's a little technicality but anyway works great really like it just love to build stuff real pleased with it. I think I'm gonna keep it that's the screen current by the way so I think I'll be using this instead of the digital one um, I'm always you always got to be really really careful when you're measuring current because uh, if you if you get one lead to the wrong if you got one on the voltage and you touch the other one to ground or some other you're gonna really zap your meter may even destroy it so you got to be really careful and of course there is high voltage on this 
so I live dangerously here. Be careful, have fun, and be safe in the new year.